Welcome back, this is Boss Scuba with more Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. I'm joined as always by Charles, motherfucking Mahario. We got Sten, Alistair, and Morgan, our usual party. They are still with us. When we last left off, we were in uh, Orzammar, I think I was in Harrowmont's house, or whatever he likes to call his house, and we were need to head, let me just check out this side boob a little bit more. Uh, can I zoom in a little bit? Yeah, there we go. Uh, we were... What were we trying to do? Sorry, side boob has distracted me. We were going to head into Dust Town or whatever the freaking poor place is around here. And we were going to kill somebody. I was going to meet you at the entrance, but there were all these Balin fanatics out there. And I assume that they're going to hate me. So, let's see what they want. Yep, I thought so. Uh, do they? They don't have names. So, Morgan gets to uh, put them all to sleep as uh, Charles just takes out whoever is closest. Uh, one, a, a couple things that I did want to mention before I do forget um, is, is a couple things that I'm experiencing uh, before I actually get the game uh, started uh, while I'm trying to log in and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, just a, just a couple quick things that I'm experiencing in the game. Uh, one good, one bad. Uh, one thing uh, that I have definitely experienced that is bad is whenever I boot up the game, uh, the game is pretty much telling me, Oh, you guys all woke up? Dicks. I didn't kill all of you yet. Uh, whenever I log into the game and I try to reload my own save file, right? In order to do that, I have to be logged in into uh, my account, which is normally fine. That's not a problem. Uh, however, for some reason, uh, they say that the bonus content, uh, not only do I need to be logged in, I need to have an internet connection and logged in uh, through their little website, whatever it's called. Uh, they don't really say what website it is, but pretty much I need an internet connection up at all times in order to play uh, the game with any of the expansions or the DLC or whatever you, whatever you would like yes. to call them. Um, all that bonus content, I do need... I also need more room. Um, I'm not going to pick up any of that. I probably should have sold some of the stuff off screen. Did not remember that I was full. Um... I need to be logged in uh, through the internet in order to play anything with the uh, the bonus content, which kind of sucks. I don't fully understand that. Let's go for the basic level ups here and uh, mark a death. I don't. Okay, well it deals additional damage. That's probably good. Didn't I have something that was that I already had, but I wasn't using uh, the rogue? I'm not using that much. Uh, yeah, this isn't this isn't that great. Dual weapon, I'm still not doing that much. Uh, there we go. There's some good stuff. Defensive fire to master archer. Uh, I'm gonna go with arrow of slain for now, um, and we will get rid of some of these things here. What the hell is all this? Death root extract? No, no. I'm not using any of that, so I might as well get rid of it. Um, yes, move it down here. Can I move this? No? The hell? Okay. Uh, what is it? Skills? Spells and talents? There we go. Now can I move it? Now will you let me move it? Okay, now I can. Sure. That makes sense. Alright, you need to move over here. I'm not really using the, the numbers anyway. Alright, we got an arrow slain, a uh, critical shot we already had, and, um, wasn't there something? I swore there was something else that I needed to move onto the bar for him. Maybe it was somebody else, but uh, we will... I guess we'll just uh, not do that. Since I don't know what it is. Scattershot, maybe? No, that's a... Uh... I need to use that. That's an actual... Okay, apparently Scattershot is activated. I thought it was a passive. Okay, either way, we are ready to go. So, that, what was I talking about? Yes, uh, I have to... Oh, I hear a nug around here. I can definitely hear it. And that's so I stuff it into my sack, where I keep all my other nugs, so I can smoke them later. Uh, yes, we will venture forth into the dust down here. Uh, so, in order to pretty much 
play the game. Load a save. I need to be connected to the internet. That sucks. I don't like that. I'm not playing an internet game. I can't use this to play anybody online as far as I know. It's not like I can take my party and battle somebody else's party. So I, I don't really see the point of, of requiring that. But this isn't the first game to do it. it. It is just annoying simply because I usually have to wait around for like 45 seconds to a minute for it to actually start saying that I've connected uh, so I can start. But there's no indicator whether or not I am um, connected. It, it just won't load. And it says, you you have to be logged in. As I'm just sitting here waiting for it to, to suddenly say that I'm logged in. Um, I have no idea where I'm going. I was kind of hoping she'd be out here. Isn't her name like Jolinda or something like that? Uh, in the house over here. I think this this house was empty, if I remember correctly. Uh, the other thing that... Is there anything in the chest? Yeah, we've, we've been here. The other thing that I've been encountering, and this is a good thing, uh, when I do finally get the game loaded, uh, and it says that I have somehow connected to the internet without giving me any indication that it's done that, um, it does tell me where I last left off and what I was doing uh, on the loading screen when it's loading. Here we go. Suspicious door. Um, okay, that's glitching out right there. It made me think there was something down there. Hmm. Continue. Small slot. Look through the slot. You see nothing but blackness. How do I get in there? Like, is there like something here? Once again, this thing is glitching out. How the hell do I get inside there? Beggar. Beggar. Somebody tell me. Idle dwarf, do you? He's been killing nugs. The bastard. I was gonna smoke them. Idle yes. Your clothes are so fancy. Did you get them topside? Yes, I did. I'm asking the questions here. My ma'am used to say they don't got no stone to protect them topside. If I go up there, I'm gonna fall into the sky. Friggin' poor people. You just have to hold on real tight with your feet. Yes. <laughs> when my dot left, he never came back. Who's to say he didn't fall up, eh? Sure, I have to go. Don't fall into the sky when you go back up there. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, you have to be careful about that kind of stuff, I swear. Okay, so... No, seriously, didn't they say... Orzammar. Not like a scholar, no. Track down the thief who stole a tome from Shaprate. Shaprate? Bald head and... No, this one is what I was looking for. To Jarvia. No one knows where Jarvia's hiding. I should be found in Dust Town. Yeah, so I need to find clues around here. Which means I probably need to talk to beggars or something. Nadezda. I'm surprised to see you back. I thought the Diamond Quarter was more to your liking. It definitely you in is. In a more generous mood now? Um, yeah, I need information. What are you looking for? Jarvia. Know her. I used to run with her. Right. Jarvia took over the carta not more than a year ago, and already she's got every duster with both legs bearing swords for her. Very nice. Where can I find her? Won't be easy. She's gotten real careful since Barat died. Real paranoid. She's got carta members all carrying these finger bone tokens. She scratches some mark into them so she'll know they came from her. There's doors to her base all over the city, but only one is ever open at a time. And if you show up without a token, you'd never know it was there. I already found the door. I just need a token. Can't help you there, Salraka. The Carta members keep them real tight. Now, Sounds kinky. Uh, how about that coin you promised? Uh, fine. Here's five silver. I'll think of you when I go to bed with a full stomach. Did she say she was going to masturbate to me? Uh, find a finger bone token. In for okay. So, once again, I need to talk to um, someone with a name. Zerlinda! She could help me with the bony token. Do not talk to me, child killer. What did I tell her? <laughs> I'm not denying that that happened. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just curious as to what I've divulged to her. Um, so, do I just talk to a regular beggar? Do I, I obviously need to find one of those coins. Alistair, what the hell are you doing? How the hell are you doing that? He is not touching anything. What the fuck, Alistair? <laughs> He's just standing there all majestic. I am Jesus now. 
All should worship me. Like, no, Alistair, get off. I can't push him. I can't push him. I can't jump or anything. Can I? No. No, that pauses. <laughs> That's the jump button in many other games, that not this one. Is a dangerous one. Yeah, she is. If you could tell me how to get one of her things. Shady Corbett, you can tell me. What do me. you want, Warden? You're out of your element down here. Oh, he's the thief, isn't he? Is that so? What makes you think anyone here would turn me, I mean, this person in? Yeah, that's him. You've walked into a sodding fight, Warden, and I've already passed your stupid tome along. Too bad for you. Where'd it go? Oh, now I have to kill him? Yes. This isn't going to take long, dude. You it, you're by that. yourself. Yeah, Alistair, you take him on. <laughs> and levitating Jesus defeat him once again. Down goes Alistair. How the hell is he up there? A uh, proving receipt. A losing betting receipt. Couple of anger, these are only printed in the proving ground, so uh, obviously we have to go to the proving grounds for that one. I'll probably take care of that off screen because I'm sick of side quests for now. Uh, we'll do them on screen, at least I should say. I'm not sick of the side quests. It's just that. Th <coughs> Excuse me. They take too damn long to do on screen. Where is somebody that I can talk to that is not named Baker? That is one thing that I do like about this part. Oh, wait, maybe the Emporium has it? That is one thing that I do like about this, uh, this game. Um, hold on for one second. Sorry about that. Uh, one thing that I do like about this game, and I know a lot of people don't like this. Um, in fact, it's, it's one of the reasons that a lot of people say that Morrowind is a better game than Oblivion, is that, uh, only the important people in this game have names. Everybody else is just generic NPC names. It really helps me, uh, well, even though it takes me out of the game a little bit, it doesn't immerse me as much, it really helps me f figure out how to that? complete the quest. more business for me? Um, what do you know about Jarvia? Enough to know she don't fancy strangers asking questions. She's looking around like somebody's gonna, whatever. Uh, why is everybody so scared? Her base goes everywhere in Orzammar. Her or even talk bad, your bones end up in the lava. That doesn't surprise me that they use the lava as execution. Not at all. Would you know more if the question came with silver? Could be. If 30 silver came my way, I might know a bit. Yeah, that's nothing. Here's the money. Only Jarvia's men knew all the entrances to her base. But I tell you, I've watched them. They go up to what look like bare walls and poof. Gone. Like there's a secret door. There's one just across the way. Watch long enough, and you'll see. Now you want to buy something, or are we done? Damn it. <laughs> We're done when I gut you for not being more helpful. Mother of dust. Do I kill him now? He's going to punch me. Now I feel bad. You, God. <laughs> um, wait, what happened? Um, the doors are hand Fireman. It means that they use easily. Yes. Did somebody disapprove? I didn't catch that. I assume somebody is not happy that I killed him. <laughs> I bet it was Alistair. Alistair, how how you doing? He's well. He's a plus eleven. He's still plus. That's what's important here. As long as he remains on the plus side, I am happy because I don't want him to leave. But I'm not really trying to seduce him either. He is no longer floating, though. That's for sure. Um. Okay, here's a door. Oh, I mean, that, it's pretty damn obvious that it's right there. How do I get my hands on one of them coins, though? Where can I hide from one of them coins? Wait, here's an empty room. I'm they said, yes, I'm on. Well, look what we have here. There we go. Jarvia said you were looking for trouble. Congratulations. You found it. And now we get to kill him? <laughs> okay. All right, so everybody on the leader, let's put them to sleep. Can I zoom out? I can, and there are more of them than I thought. Still shouldn't be a problem, though. Everybody attack the leader. I should be able to put them to sleep. Yep, there we go. That just makes things so much easier for me in the long run. And of course, we can do a mind blast when these guys eventually do wake up. Oh. Sonny ancestors! What do they teach you on the surface? You fight like a bleeding archdemon. No, I fight like a warden. Stone, look at them all. The fuck are you on about? Tell me how to find Jarvia, or you join them. No, 
Jarvio will kill me if I tell you. I might as well die fighting. And now we fight him again? Are you kidding me? Alright, everybody attack him. Yes. Okay, now I actually do have to take on everybody else. And my sleep went away, unfortunately, but I still have a mind blast. Let's go ahead and take on this guy um, here. Mind blast! And then you can hit him with a winner's grasp. And that should be by, yeah, like half. <laughs> God, these guys, these guys. All right, let's go for the uh, the guys that are not asleep because they are still hitting me, and I don't usually like that. Not usually. Sometimes I like to be hit, but not today. So not today. Oh, they woke up. That's right. It's a uh, mind blast. It's not nearly as effective as sleep. All right. Uh, then we can hit this guy. If you would, another winner's grasp to put him down to like half health. And then, uh, yeah, fine, we'll hit this guy. And how are we doing? Yeah, you could use a heal. Why not? Have one! And then attack this guy. And then once he is dead, kill that guy. And we should be good. We should be more than good here. And down they all go. Well, so much for, uh... So much for, like, walking our way. And there we go, finger bone to token. I will take that. And, um, well, we already know where that's going to go. I was about to say, they said that they could go into bare walls, so I figured there would be, like, a bare wall here, and that's why this place was empty. Uh, but... I was wrong. There are just people hanging out here. Once again, there should be like a bare wall around here somewhere that they could go into, but I wasn't patient enough to wait. And instead, I killed the guy. I think I made the better choice, to be honest with you. So let's try to go into the suspicious looking door now, which it does say I can unlock. Why is this so glitchy all the damn time? Whatever. Open it. By put the finger bone taken in put finger bone token in the slot. The door unlocks. Continue, and now I probably have to kill people as soon as we walk in. Uh, yeah, these little loading screens they do remind me what I was doing, what quest I'm on, uh, when when I first load the game, which is nice, you know. Uh, but after having to wait around for upwards of five minutes for it to say that I've connected to the internet so I can use the bonus content, that is that is no fun. Is, that is not fun. So you, you take some good, you take some bad. That's pretty much the moral of the story.